My name is Simon Underwood. I'm the principal at Corby Business Academy and welcome to our virtual tour. I'm not going to take up too much of your time to begin with because I'd like you to hear um, from members of staff and the students at the Academy and also get a feel of what the building is and how it operates. So I'm going to hand over to other people now but please enjoy the virtual tour um, and I will speak to you at the end. And here we are in the central area at Corby Business Academy. We're outside one of the most important faculties, MATE. You will be taught maths and computer science within this faculty. This is Miss Thompson, one of our assistant principals here at Corby Business Academy. Miss Thompson will take you around the MATE faculty today. Thank you for that and welcome to MATE, the home of maths and computer science. Here we have many engaging lessons that go on, but it's also the base for year seven at the moment. With the help of these two lovely students, I'm gonna take you downstairs so you can see just one of the activities that happen here. One of the things we like to do the most in this faculty is Lego Robotics. Wow! Whoa. One subject we really like is maths. concludes the tour of our amazing faculty mates. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing just some of the fun things that we get up to here. Now I'm going to hand over to one of our other vice principals to take you on a tour of another faculty. And also in the centre of the academy you will find the comms faculty. Comms stands for communication and this is where you will study English. And if we go inside I'll introduce you to one of our assistant principals. And this is Miss Gavin, who oversees the comms faculty. Welcome to the comms faculty, where students get to study English. They get to study a range of texts, including novels, poetry and plays. I enjoy the comms faculties because of my English lessons. One thing I really enjoy about my English lessons are the Gothic novels and the creative writing. Thank you for looking around the comms faculty. I'm now going to hand over to the vice principal who will show you around the rest of the academy. This is one of the faculties we are most proud of. It's called AMID. AMID stands for Arts, Music and Industrial Design. Let's take a look inside and meet the assistant principal that oversees the faculty. I'd like to introduce you to Mr Woodcock. He's the assistant principal that oversees this faculty. In the AMID faculty, students get to explore their creativity from a wide range of subjects, including art, music, textiles, photography, drama and media, and design technology. Here are some of our student leaders who are going to show us around the classrooms to see some of the subjects we do here. One of the greatest things about the AMID faculty is learning music because you get to use the recording studio. In AMID, my favourite subject is resistant materials because of the range of machinery and tools we get to use. My favourite subject in AMID is art, where you get to explore creativity and individuality. Another subject in art is photography, where you get to practice camera work and lighting. Thank you for joining us looking round AMID. Now I'm going to hand over to another vice principal who's going to take you further around the academy. So this is one of our most exciting faculties. This is BHE, which stands for Business, Humanities and Enterprise. Let's go in and meet Miss Heidi Bird, who's one of the assistant principals and looks after this area. So this is Miss Bird, who's going to introduce us to the BHE faculty. 
Hello and welcome to the most exciting faculty here at Corby Business Academy. Here we have some uh, very interesting subjects. We have geography, history, Spanish and French. Also within this faculty, the Year 9 register with their form tutors. And we have a representative from the student leader team here. Darius is going to show us around. What I really like about BHU faculty is geography and business studies. What is really awesome about them is that you can follow them all through to sixth form and these are some students doing some geography activities. In BHU faculty, I do history. What I learn in history is the Norman Conquest, the World Wars and slavery. One of my most favourite subjects in BHE faculty is modern foreign languages. This helps me prepare my future and it helps me say phrases such as j'adore l'école. This means I love school. Thank you very much Darius for showing us around the wonderful faculty. As you can see we have some really hard working and passionate staff here within BHE. Now I'm going to hand over to another vice principal. This is one of our most diverse faculties because it has both physical and natural sciences. We call it PNS. Let's take a look inside and meet one of the leaders that helps support the faculty. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. L.S. Bowie. He's the head of Year 10 and he is based in the PNS faculty. In this faculty, we have the three sciences, obviously, biology, chemistry and physics. We also have physical education, among which is dance. We also cater for health and social care. One of the things I enjoy most in the PNS faculty is the chemistry lessons. We do amazing experiments. Take the Bunsen burners for an example. Hello Year 6s and parents, welcome to the Corby Business Academy PE department. I am the head of PE, Mr Wall. I'm going to show you around the department and what sports we can offer you and hopefully you'll get the opportunity to do those in September. I hope you have enjoyed your visit to our faculty, PNS. Hello, my name is Mr Hallam and I'm the Head of Year 7 and my responsibilities include monitoring the attainment, attendance and behaviour of Year 7. I'm also responsible for managing the Year 7 tutor team who put together the tutor time programme which we run throughout the week. Part of my role is to oversee the transition from Year 6 to Year 7 and try to make it as smooth as possible so that students settle in quickly to life as a member of the Corby Business Academy's community. Once we receive confirmation from the local authority of who has received a place here at the Academy, contact is made with all of our feeder primary schools to find out as much information about each individual student transferring to us. This information includes academic ability, strengths in particular subjects, any special educational needs, friendship groups, behaviour, attendance, any safeguarding concerns and involvement in activities outside of school. Depending on COVID restrictions, we normally visit each primary school after Key Stage 2 SATs to meet each student personally and organise a Year 6 transfer day in early July. Unfortunately this year none of this was possible, so instead we produced a weekly video and newsletter so students were familiar with what academy life would be like when they finally arrived. Our broad and balanced curriculum is designed to support students' academic and personal development. During their time at the Academy, students will develop independence, teamwork, creative thinking, reflection and self-management, preparing them for further education and the world of work. In Key Stage 3, students will study English, Mathematics, Science, Active, Design Technology, Art, modern foreign languages, personal development, history, geography, computer science, drama and music. Personal, social and health education 
as well as careers, is also taught through the Tutor Time programme, assemblies and devoted days of learning. Our aim is for all students to enjoy and be committed to learning something new in every lesson, embracing every opportunity that presents itself and to strive to become the best that they can be. Hence Corby Business Academy's values of commit, believe and achieve. While we do have high expectations and standards, we also have a huge support network within the Academy, starting with the form tutor, followed by the head of year, and our student care team, who will encourage and help every student to fulfil their potential. The form tutor will be the person that students should go to if they have any worries or concerns whilst at the Academy. We like to see them as their Academy parent. Students see their tutor every day during academic mentoring, which takes place in a designated tutor room. These academic mentoring sessions cover a programme of activities, including literacy, numeracy and PSHE. There are also regular assemblies and an academy quiz. Tutors check student planners on a weekly basis and discuss the important elements of attendance and behaviour. Being part of a tutor group is a very important part of school life. The student cares team's job is to prioritise student safety and well-being, supporting all of our students throughout their time at the academy, enabling them to be happy in school and to achieve their academic goals. They are available to offer advice and guidance on any worries or concerns that students might have. Thank you for taking an interest in Corby Business Academy and I hope you consider sending your child to us. I look forward to meeting them in person soon. Hello Year 6, family and friends. I am so happy to have been asked to speak to you, albeit on film this year, as Open Evening is one of my favourite events of the year. My name is Mrs Lapsley and I am a member of the Student Care and Safeguarding Team. My role is Student Support Officer for Year 7 and 8. A large part of my role is to help you settle into secondary school and guide you through the transition period. Our team can support students and their families with a multitude of concerns, such as friendship worries, anxiety, self-harm, keeping safe on social media platforms, exam stress, anger management, healthy eating, healthy relationships, LGBTQ, general mentoring, early help assessments, and always a friendly ear to listen. We also work with many external agencies and therefore can refer students for support from Northamptonshire Bereavement Service, Youth Works and Service 6 Counselling, MIND, Children and Adolescent Mental Health Service, Engage, the School Nursing Service and much more. I work closely with Mrs Dickinson, our school SENCO and her team too. We are located in a lovely welcoming space upstairs and students can call in to see us at break and lunchtime or make an appointment. My wish is for students joining us to feel safe and comfortable enough to talk about any worries with us, even if it feels small or awful. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Corby Business Academy and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Hello, I'm Mrs Dickinson, the SENCO at Corby Business Academy. My vision for SEND students at Corby Business Academy is that every SEND student is able to access a full curriculum that allows them to reach their full potential academically. As well as this, as a school we are helping them to gain the life skills they need to become independent young adults when they leave the Academy. At Corby Business Academy, our SEND students are supported through a variety of means within our mainstream school. Students with EHC plans will be provided with the appropriate support required by their plans both in and outside of the classroom. Students who appear on our SEM record without an EHC plan will not have support within the classroom typically. We do however offer a number of interventions ranging from social and emotional through to literacy and numeracy. These type of interventions will be made available based on evidence and need of the individual student. In Year 7, again, based on evidence and need, we offer key workers and meet and greets. 
At Corby Business Academy, we have an SEND hub. The hub has three main purposes. A safe environment for our most vulnerable students to come at break and lunch, to socialise in a safe environment with adult supervision and support. A quiet space where students can come if they need to calm down or have a sensory break during lesson time. Students who need this will be issued with a hub card. Once in the hub, they will have some support before returning to their lesson as soon as possible. Finally, an intervention room for small group and one-to-one -one work to take place. If you have further questions about SEND students, please email me. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it really informative. Now, we hope you're supported to make those decisions in regards to your child moving from year six to year seven into secondary school. You should have already seen this document. It's on our website because you are accessing this virtual tour and that gives you a flavour of how we're approaching it this year with the different strands of communication. That information can be found on our website um, page there. It's the Open Evening Virtual Event. One of the strands is the fact that we are doing some limited spaces, physical tours of the building. And those are going to be for students who have an educational healthcare plan or who are classed as vulnerable because they have a social worker. And that includes looked after children. Now, if you're interested in one of these limited spaces, for mainstream provision, please can you contact Heather Thompson. Her contact details can be seen there on the screen and they're also on our website. If it's the unit provision, which is for students with EHCPs, you can need to contact Karen Brown and her contact details are there and again, they're on our website. I'll also be hosting a question and answer broadcast, which will be pre-recorded, so it means that you can access it at any point because I know everybody's lives are obviously very busy. To raise a question for that, you need to email year seven admissions at corbybusinessacademy.org and that needs to be with me before Friday the 9th of October at 12 p.m. Um, if you are doing that, please can you put 2022 admissions in the subject heading and that will filter out the question to make sure that I receive them. And I will be launching that broadcast on Monday the 12th of October at 5.30 p.m. Just a bit of extra information for you to give you a flavour of how um, much pride we take in the transition from year six to seven. This year was obviously very unusual, but we adapted really well. And um, on that page, you will see the wealth of communication, broadcast, information, resources we produce for our new students this September. And finally for me, um, this uh, online prospectus has been available for quite a few days now. So if you haven't seen it, please see our website. And that gives you, again, gives you some informative information um, when you are making those decisions. Okay, so that's it from us. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to hearing or seeing you soon. Bye-bye.